I think it's time to have another few goes on this, don't you? There are certain English people of over a certain age who feel that anyone who looks remotely foreign needs to be shouted at very slowly. And not because they've been aggressive, but because they believe they can't understand them. It's, you know, it's like the classic Blackadder phrase. Do you speak English? A little. <laughs> yes. When you say a little, what exactly do you mean? I mean, can we talk or are we going to spend the rest of the afternoon asking each other the way to the beach in very loud voices? <laughs> The reason I was at the post office is I have sent the Rode Video Me mic back to Amazon. As you saw from yesterday's Facebook Live, it was just a waste of time. So I am going to hit the Apple Store first to see if I can pick up a mic that will work. didn't have that microphone in stock which is a bit annoying as I checked and it said it would be in tomorrow so I'm going to need to order it anyway getting some juice gonna head off I think I'm about the only person in here at the moment. I'm going to reacquaint myself with Sonic for a bit. <laughs> so switch it off, switch it on again. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Sometimes people have the cartridge out. Uh. I kind of can't remember that much about Sonic, but I tell you what, I can remember. Let's go around here. The holy grail of computer games. That was always the most annoying thing about Mario, was that you basically, once you run out of your lives, you're right back to the start again, which is, I think, is probably why I can play it so much better than I can play other games, because so many times you have to go back to the beginning, and it's strangely addictive. Now, contrary to what some of you believe, I've not always been an Apple fanboy. We had this one when I was a teenager, and I hated it, primarily because I couldn't play games in it, like all my friends who had PCs, but, you can kind of look at this. This was 1995. Where are we? That was 1998. No Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. Or should I say, no Sir Johnny Ive, Johnny Ive. You know, you kind of, you see the difference in Apple's concepts kind of going, I mean this mouse is horrible, keyboard is disgusting, it's so un-Apple. It's just not Apple at all, whereas, despite the fact it's not booting up this morning, this is just so different, so good. Now, one of the reasons I think this place is amazing is so much of the hardware that's here is on and you can play with it, you can have a go in it. Sadly, as I say, the iMac isn't booting up. An Apple 3, and then the next, the next cube. Now, in the Science Museum in London, these are all hidden in big glass cases and you can't touch them. Whereas here, look, it's, it's there, you know. This was not the actual machine, the actual machine's in the Science Museum. But this machine was where the World Wide Web was founded on by um, Tim Berners-Lee, who's autographed this one. This 1986 Amstrad. Let me see, I do remember some of this. Microsoft Words, F6. Let's see if it works. I do remember, it's got two floppy disk drives, which I find a little bit weird. 
and I remember the only memory I've got of this machine is playing Dam Busters on it. <laughs> That's literally all I remember from this machine and the two floppy disk drives side by side. Wow, so here's Microsoft Works. What's the bet it crashes even now? Now, if you know your Apple history, you'll know that these two computers are quite a... They've got a good story to them. Because this one, the Apple II, was Steve Wozniak's baby. This was the one that Steve Wozniak built. And it was very functional, it was very popular. This baby is the Macintosh Jobs. The same year the Macintosh was launched, the original Macintosh, the BBC microcomputer and now they don't actually have one over here at the moment and I've been here before I came here with Amy last year and I wanted to show you a video because I want to show you the BBC microcomputer and I'll go in and look at it in a minute which flummoxes me now <clears throat> 33 years later and then what Amy can do with a Macintosh which was built 24 years before she was born Look at the Apple II. Computer geeks are happy with it. Look at the Macintosh. Anyone can use it. They're giving me more light now, which is amazing. What I love about this Macintosh is how the Finder is very much similar to what you see on a Mac today. It's just so fantastic. It's going to paint. I'm so easily impressed. <laughs> it's quite sad that for the N64 they don't have a copy of GoldenEye running, because that was the game for the N64. <laughs> the RM Nimbus. These were the computers I had at school. It's supposed to be the 80s. I was at high school in the 90s. Maybe my school was just way behind. But, oh gosh, this takes me back. Suddenly, it's just. I think it's time to have another few goes on this, don't you? Lovely. That's great. Thank you very much. Cheers. So Centre for Computing History, if you're around the Cambridge area, you've got to go to it. Fantastic place. So much of our history now is is in there. It's fantastic. And especially if you're around about my age, kind of born early 80s, there's a lot of your, uh, a lot of what you spent a lot of your time on when you were at school doing is in there. Anyway, I've got to do the grocery shopping now. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's the main thing. I'm sorry if it got a bit geeky. Um, normal vlogs will resume very soon. Yeah, because kind of that's what you really need is a paper version of how to vlog, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of the way. I hope you enjoyed that little trip around the Museum of Computing History in Cambridge. I got a really nice notebook which I've left upstairs, but I'll show you again on another vlog. Tune in tomorrow. I've got a really special public service story to tell you uh, about something that happened to me a couple of years ago so thank you very much for watching if you're not already one of the subscribers please hit that subscribe link it makes a huge difference to me and will make a difference to you because it means i can make the videos better and if you haven't already seen the two vlogs that are coming up next make sure you check them out soon any comments need to go in the box thank you very much for watching see you soon